Hola estudiantes y bienvenidos a Español 2A. Hi students and welcome to Spanish 2A for DPR. Yo me llamo Ana, my name is Ana, y voy a ser su profesora para esta clase. En este video vamos a ver una pequeña bienvenida, we'll see a, a short welcome or welcome back for all you returning students. Y vamos a practicar un poquito de español. We're also going to practice a little bit of Spanish. But first, let me introduce myself. So I told you my name. Yo soy de Nueva York. I'm from New York. Yo estudié el español en la secundaria. So maybe like some of you guys, I studied Spanish in high school. Y también en la universidad. Y luego viví dos años en Madrid, España. Yo también estoy aprendiendo francés y un poquito de portugués. Es que a mí me encantan los idiomas. Muy bien, entonces vamos a ver un poco sobre cómo funciona nuestra clase. Let's take a look at how our class is going to work. So here at Freestyle, we use a flipped classroom model. And basically that means that even before our first class together, uh, before our first class of the week, you will already uh, engage with whatever topic, whatever content we're going to be covering that week in class through your pre-class video prep lesson. So this is going to be a short video by one of our team freestyle instructors going over all of the new grammar and all of the new voc vocabulary that we're going to be working with during the week. This is a super, super important part of our model because this is what sets you up for success when you get to class. So we really put a lot of emphasis on uh, speaking from the get-go. We wanna get you using the language, not just absorbing it from a book. And in order to do that successfully, we need to have some preparation beforehand. So each week you'll have your prep video before class. Please set aside some time in your schedule to watch it and to give it the attention that uh, it deserves. And that way, when you get to class, for our first day of the week, you're gonna be ready to go with all the tools you need to jump in, participate in our dynamic activities and uh, engage with conversation with your classmates. We will have our core classes two times a week. And in these classes, we are going to be covering all of that same content from the prep video through a really fun and diverse set of activities. So we will be doing conversation activities, uh, we will play some games. We'll have some guided practice to make sure that you feel comfortable with the language. We'll also be making use of all of the best virtual features that our Zoom classroom has to offer. So we will be uh, doing small group conversations in the breakouts. We will have some fun and interactive whiteboard activities for you. We'll have some polls. And we also will be incorporating multimedia in a lot of different ways into the classroom. So this could be songs, this could be videos, um, basically whatever people are listening to, uh, engaging with and talking about in the Spanish speaking world, that's what we wanna bring into the classroom so that you guys get to experience Spanish, not just through a textbook, but as it's spoken in the world. And also so that you get a little bit of cultural enrichment. And when you find yourself speaking to somebody, uh, a native speaker out in the world after class, you'll already have some things in common. So that's a lot to look forward to in our first two classes of the week. Then our third class every week is our construction language practice. So this is where we're taking those grammar points and uh, that language content from days one and two. And we're going to be applying it to the workplace, right? To a context really relevant for you. We'll also be having a little bit of more free form uh, conversation and uh, activities in class. And our goal on the third day is to take all of those new structures, all of that great new language that we learned on days one and two, and give you a chance to apply it in both a more um, intentional way with work and also a more spontaneous way with your classmates to have some fun and to feel comfortable in the language. So that's our third day. Then we have our online curriculum on Teachable. So this is where our class lives. This is where you can find all of our contents that we work with together in class, outside of class and on your own time. You have 24 seven access to this. So that means that anything that you wanna review, anything that was unclear or you want more practice with, 
you always have access to it there on Teachable. And we know that in language learning, the name of the game is repetition um, and you know practice hours. So this is a, a great opportunity for you to put in those hours and work towards your Spanish learning goals. And then last element of our class is our discussion board on Padlet. Think of this as our class social media space. This is where we get to engage with one another outside of class to share experiences, videos, uh, songs, uh, anything in Espanol that uh, calls your attention, you want to share with classmates, this is the place to do it. So you'll be able to find more information about where to access all of these different components in your welcome email that you've received from us. And we'll also be talking about them in class. Bueno, y ahora, right, now it's time for a little Espanol. Entonces, vamos a hablar hoy de qué haces normalmente, right? We'll talk about things we normally do. We'll start with some examples, and as you listen to them, pon atención, pay attention to these two questions. First, ¿cuáles son los verbos? Right? What are the verbs? ¿Y cómo cambian? How do they change? Bien, comenzamos. ¿Qué comes? ¿Qué comes normalmente en las mañanas? Normalmente, Como pan tostado con mantequilla de almendra en las mañanas. También tomo café. Do you notice those verbs? Muy bien. ¿Cuántas horas trabaja? ¿Cuántas horas trabaja Juan durante la semana? Típicamente, Juan trabaja más o menos... 50 horas por semana. ¿Cómo practican? ¿Cómo practican su español los estudiantes? Ellos practican con sus amigos y compañeros de trabajo. Ok, entonces, ¿qué pasa? What did you see with those verbs? So you might have noticed some changes. Right? We saw comes in the tu form. We also saw como and tomo in the yo form. So we remember that in Spanish, we need to change the ending of the verb to match the person or the thing who is doing the action, right? We always have to change that ending. And here we are looking at the present tense, the regular present tense. So that's simply to say things that are happening here and now at this moment in time, right in the present. And we remember that we've got three types of verbs in Spanish, right? We have our verbs ending in AR, our verbs ending in ER, and our verbs ending in IR. And each of these verbs is going to take its own set of endings, like we can see here in our chart. So to conjugate these verbs, to change them to match the person doing the action, all we have to do is drop these endings, right? Take off our AR, ER, or IR, and then add the correct ending from this chart according to the verb's subject. So comer is an ER. We drop the ER, we get com. And then if I wanna say tú, I add our ending es, tú comes, or yo, I add the ending o, yo como. Okay, pause the video, take a moment, and review these endings out loud. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver algunos ejemplos más. We'll see some more examples. Y esta vez, pon atención en la diferencia que ves entre esos verbos y los anteriores. So pay attention. How are these verbs different than the last ones we saw? ¿A qué hora te despiertas normalmente? Gracias a mi perrito, normalmente me despierto como a las 7 de la mañana. ¿A qué hora se duerme? ¿A qué hora se duerme tu hijo? Mi hijo normalmente se duerme a las 9 de la noche. Ok, entonces, ¿qué? ¿Qué pasa? What's different here? Good, so we noticed, duerme, we have... A difference in the, the vowels here, right? What's going on in orange and despiertas or despierto. All of these endings 
on the end are the same, right? E, as, o, that looks familiar. We saw those in the last ones. But now we've got something going on inside the verb itself. So these are what we call our stem changing verbs in the present. And just like normal, regular present tense verbs, they take the same set of endings, right? O, es, e, hemos, en, and so on. But now we also have a change in the verb stem, right? So the verb stem is this first part of the verb before our er, ir, or ar ending. And we can see that in each of these verbs, we've got a change in that stem. So dormir, we change the vowels from o to ue, we get duermo. Querer, we change from e to ie, we get quiero. And pedir, we change from e to i, we get pido. Right, these ones are simply irregular and we need to just remember that they are that way. Now, one little exception to this rule is careful, we have no stem change in the nosotros form. So most, most of our verbs, we're going to have that change, right? Duermo, duermes, duerme, duermen. I should say most of our forms. But in the nosotros form, we don't. We preserve the vowel that we had in the original verb stem. Dormir, dormimos. Querer, queremos. Pedir, pedimos. Again, there's uh, no great rule for this one. This is just something you have to remember that some verbs are irregular in this way. Okay, bien. Excelente. So, te toca. Now it's your turn. Okay, we're going to show you some questions. And when we've read them all, you can pause the video and try to think of your answers. Okay? Muy bien. Entonces, ¿qué comes normalmente en las mañanas? ¿Cuántas horas trabajas durante la semana? ¿A qué hora te duermes normalmente? ¿A qué hora te despiertas? ¿Y cómo practicas tu español? Have you thought of your answers? Muy bien. Ok. Entonces, antes de nuestra clase, before our class, let's take a chance to introduce ourselves on our Padlet page. So you can write a short paragraph, a couple sentences, introducing yourself. And let me show you mine as an example. So we know, me amo Ana. Y yo soy de Nueva York. Y ahora vivo allí. Right, so I still live there now. Normalmente como cereales y tomo café en las mañanas. Okay, so answering our question from the last slide. What do I normally eat? Normalmente me duermo sobre las 11 de la noche y me despierto más o menos a las siete y media de la mañana. So the next thing you can tell us is when do you normally go to sleep and when do you wake up? Y yo practico mi español y mi inglés con mis estudiantes. ¿Verdad? All right, so our last question, how do you practice Spanish? I practice with my students. So on our Padlet page, you can share your post answering our questions from earlier and introducing yourself. You can also review your welcome email from Freestyle before class to make sure that you are able to access all of our class contents and you're ready for class. And then the last thing will be to go on to our uh, class page on Teachable and see what you can find there, right? Try to check everything out and make sure that you, uh, you can access it before class. All right, pues eso ya es todo. That's all for our video today. Really looking forward to getting to know you all in class. Y nos vemos ahí en clase. Hasta entonces. Chao.